Hey everybody, uh, today I want to show you the iPhone interface and not only the iPhone interface uh, for the iPhone, the iPod Touch, but also for your computer. A lot of people don't know that the ERS as well as looking fantastic on an iPhone format so you can rotate it and all that kind of cool stuff, but you can also use it on any of your uh, computers hooked up to your network. So what I'd do like now is uh, show you the kind of the differences between the two. So first let's show you the, uh, the iPhone. Okay, so you can see here, I'll just open up the uh, the iPhone, particularly right here we're using an iPod Touch, and uh, we're already in the interface here, but we've actually already made a nice little icon right there. It has a little speaker craft. Go ahead and hit that, and it'll load right into the, uh, the interface. You'll see everything spool out here, and then you'll see your list of zones up here, which we've actually uh, nicely labeled for you guys here to kind of give you the impression of, of what we're going for. And if you click on, uh, let's say, let's click on the bathroom right there. Give it a second and it'll go into the actual uh, all the source list here. So you see we have a couple different sources. We have the uh, the uh, iPod up here. We have your jukebox and, and those kind of things. So let's go ahead and click on the iPod and then you'll uh, immediately see the uh, the list of everything on there just like you would on Mo keypad. See now playing playlists, artists, that kind of thing. So let's click on artists. Select some Alice in Chains. And it'll take us into their album listing. Jar of Flies. And then from there, let's go ahead and uh, select Rotten Apple. Give it a second too for the iPod to spin up, and then you'll see that it actually goes into the now playing section of the uh, of the uh, the iPod. And you can see you can pause it just like that, play it again just like that. And the actual the button is context sensitive, so you'll see that it will switch to whatever it's going to when it needs to be. And uh, you'll see you can, get, you can go to the next track. You'll see that uh, change up there just like that. And the same thing is like that for anything else. And you can switch it into party mode just like that. And the party mode button will change. And you can kind of do all that kind of stuff uh, just uh, just from your iPod. So uh, let's mini back out and uh, we'll show you the, uh, the uh, interface as it looks on the, uh, on the computer. So I'll just... Uh, load up Safari here. This works on Safari as well as uh, Internet Explorer and then I'll just uh, go in the browser window here and just like on the iPhone type in the IP address of the uh, ERS and and bang it just loads up just like that just like on you'll see on your iPhone and you'll see it uh, comes up here with the little speaker craft control and and actually emulates the uh, kind of the iPhone interface on your computer and just like anything else just uh, click with your mouse button you can go ahead and click on a zone click on a source and uh, see that metadata just like you would uh, on your iPhone or iPod Touch, but this time it's on your computer. Just like that. See, uh, see what's playing on the jukebox. So as you can see, I have the, uh, the iPhone interface working on, uh, on my computer as well as working on, uh, on this uh, iPod Touch here as well as you can even run on an iPhone. So uh, just kind of shows you the versatility of the of the ways this ERS can be used. Just because they don't have an iPhone or iPod Touch doesn't mean they can't use the system. And as you can see, our MCC has no keypads plugged into it, but we're controlling the whole thing just from the from the palm of your hand or from the convenience of your own uh, computer. Uh, so if you have any other ideas for things you want to see with the ERS or anything else that uh, that we do here, just uh, email us techtips at speakercraft.com. Talk to you later.